Hey lovely, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Frankie, I'm a hairdresser and in today's video, we are going to be looking into my kit bag. I haven't actually used this kit bag before because I got it for Christmas and as you probably know, I haven't been working since Christmas. So yeah, it's gonna go straight into full-time use from the 12th of April and you'll probably see this video just before that date. So I'm really looking forward to using it because it is a great kit bag. I did actually send, it, my brother and my sister got it for me and I did send them the link just because I'd read loads of reviews and it said that it was really good. So yeah, we'll dive straight in and have a look in my kit bag. So yeah, we're just gonna look through what products I use regularly, what kind of kit I've got in there. There's a few things that I will put in if I know that I'm gonna use them with a client, but I don't use them every day, so I don't keep them in this bag. So you probably can only see the top half at the moment, but this is the full bag. It sits on wheels, it's got a pull along handle thingy, whatever that's called. It's basically a suitcase for hairdressers. The top bag comes off, and yeah, it's super handy, super easy to use, and I love it. It's really nice to have more of a structure. Before, I just had this huge bag that everything was in one bag. So yeah, this is a lot more practical, I would say. So in this top suitcase, I keep all of my products and my hairbrushes, usually the hairbrushes that I don't use as often. So it literally unzips and you have all of your products and hairbrushes in there. So I tend to use hairspray most days, so I'll keep that right at the top, it's really easy to grab. Then I've got a serum, a curl jelly for people with curly hair, some brushes, like all my brushes, I've got more at the bottom, more products for curly hair, a thickening cream by Label M, which I love, and I've got my oil, all, all products sort of in at the bottom of there. So I keep a few brushes and all of my products in this top one. I've got some powder for the roots and a neck brush up here. So all of that just goes in, zips up perfectly and sits on top of this one. It's really easy to carry, but again, like I said, it stacks on top of the other suitcase, so that makes it even easier, more straightforward. So this is the big boy. He has everything in that I use every day. This top section is quite shallow, so I keep everything in this section that I use literally every day. So we'll unzip it now. And that's things like hair straighteners, my oil. These are two products that I literally use with every client. So that is protein spray, which I use as like a detangler. And then the macadamia oil, which I use with every client just for moisture, hydration, just to replenish the hair. I've done a review on this product on the macadamia oil. So if you wanna check that out, you can, actually I'll put a link in the description down below so that you guys can get to it quite easily. It is such a beautiful oil. So yeah, I keep these two products that I use every day. I also have my straighteners, my GHG straighteners that I use every day. These do need replacing. I'm sadly, I think they're on their way out, but I've had them a good four or five years and they have lasted me so well. I've got my hairdressing pouch. So it's like another piece of equipment that I use. I attach all of my favorite clips to the front. Inside it, I have my scissors, my favorite cutting comb and my favorite color comb. I also have a wide tooth comb that I use for brushing out curls or knots and other combs inside. Again, in this section, I have my water spray. So I'm quite often using this, every client, if they haven't sort of washed their hair or have wet hair when I arrive, I'll always spray their hair down to cut it. So this is a really handy piece of equipment to have in the top section. These are my favorite hairbrushes. I tend to use these three almost with every client as well. My Denman brush for brushing out the hair when it's wet, and then these two round brushes for blow drying. We also have another nozzle for my hair dryer. So this one's a slightly wider one than the one I used, just so that I can swap it over really quickly. And I also have a neck collar just to stop the hair going down the back of the client's neck into their clothes, because we all know that that can be really itchy and super annoying. So yeah, that's the top section. Like I said earlier, in this little shallow sort of area is where I keep everything that I know I'm gonna need on a daily basis. So part of this bigger case as well is that it also has this giant bottom pocket, which is really handy, again, for bits that I use every day for bigger bits of equipment like my hairdryer, my gowns, um, my hairdressing clippers, things like that basically. So as soon as you open it, I've got this little flap here that pops off and inside that, I don't know if you can see, I've got extra clips. I've got these little hair ties for when I do hair up. 
and it's just really handy because I don't really like to use these clips every day. I've got my favorite clips attached to my hairdressing pouch like I showed you a second ago, but these are for backups, people that have really big hair, or I always leave my clips at people's houses, so when I run out and I've lost those four that I absolutely love, I will go to these ones. So really handy to have this little extra inside pouch. So in this bottom section, you can probably see straight away, I have my hairdryer. I've got the smaller nozzle attached to it at the moment. This is the one I tend to use every day with blow drying clients. It's just a bit more intense with the heat. The direction of the heat's a lot better. So I tend to keep that nozzle on the hairdryer and if I wanna swap it over again, like the other nozzle is in the top section, so it's so easy to get there. I also have my wall clippers in this pocket. So that's just for like short haircuts, any uh, tidying up around the nape. These are the clippers that I go to. They are my favorite. Again, had them for ages, probably gonna need to update them soon, but I'm not sure I can let go of these guys. And then I have two hairdressing gowns. I always keep two on me for one hairdressing appointment in case the gown gets wet or it gets product on it. And then I've always got a backup and then I'll wash them at the end of every day so that I've got a fresh set for the next day. But I've got probably about six in total. So I just go between the six of them and wash them when I'm done with them. That's everything that goes in that pocket. And again, I just keep it nice and simple. If I knew that I had a client that wanted her hair diffused curly, then I would take my diffuser and I would put that in there as well. Or if I knew that a client liked to have her hair tonged with a like wand, then I would add that into my kit before. But because I don't use equipment like that every day, I don't take it around with me every day. So like I said, this is just some of my favorite equipment. I use it every day and it is, so easy to use from cases like this. I've had huge bags before that just haven't worked for me because I spend a good five, 10 minutes just digging around in these bags and I can never find anything. I've also used like a pull along um, suitcase, which was quite hard, which worked for ages and I really adored it because it had like three different boxes. They all sort of came off from each other. You could just go in with one, you could go in with all three stacked together. But sadly, I've had that for about, seven or eight years and the lids don't work anymore. So I could just be walking up to my client's house, knock on the door, the box falls off from the lid, everything goes everywhere. So I think this is going to be the best setup for me. I will do a review on this case once I have used it for a good few months so that I can get a good wear out of it and see what it's actually like. But I wanted to show you guys what's inside my kit bag and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week for my weekly upload. Bye.